What? People think it should work well just because it costs $3,500 and it's called Pro? Well, the Pro doesn't stand for properly, now does it? Oh, hi there, I'm Sam Tucker from Apple. And you know, with everyone getting their Apple Vision Pros lately, they're starting to notice some issues that weren't there in our polished demonstration. Such as, you know, while the headset can track your eyes, your hands, and even your friend's hands, oh, she's getting a bit familiar, how you doing? You, on the other hand, are not allowed to track the headset. And if you lose it, it won't show up on Find My, like the cheaper Apple Tic Tac does. And so, you'll just have to buy a new one. And while you're there, you may want to pick yourself up an expensive MacBook. Because you might have noticed that while the Vision Pro has a power connector, it doesn't have a data connector. And so, if you want to transfer videos or large files to the thing, then you'll have to do it wirelessly, through AirDrop on another expensive Apple product, or not at all. But don't worry, if you're taking a plane trip, then you can download your movies to watch offline through the Disney Plus app. If you want to watch a Netflix movie, which there isn't an app for, well, just wait eight hours till you land in Dusseldorf. Apple Music doesn't work in offline mode either yet, and you also won't be able to have any entertainment on a train. Because the headset won't be able to track you properly, even though you're literally on a track. So I guess you'll just have to put up with the wonderful entertainment on board. Speaking of real life, pass through isn't perfect. There's sometimes motion blur, and people have said that their friends sometimes look like they're in 720p. You guys look like you're a 720p in this. Well, if you have a problem with low resolution friends, then maybe you should hang out more with MKB HD, because he's always in high def. People are also complaining about the dynamic range and how if you look at a bright window or something, everything else gets dark. Well, you are right about that. It must be a problem with the headset because have a look. Let me use my naked eyes to look at a bright object. Oh yeah, and that's fine. I can see perfectly. Depth perception, of course, isn't perfect. Okay, drinking is not the easiest. Because some people have been complaining that if they drive with the Apple Vision Pro headset on, then they tend to get Arrested. So sorry about that. I guess you probably should have been watching the road with Vigo Mortensen. There's some reports of people getting black screen issues, but this is probably because you've turned high contrast on or because you're dead. And we can't fix that. And when it comes to dead eyes, there's no getting past the virtual personas where people are getting a little freaked out by their 3D emojis. Well, I can assure you that if you wear the headset long enough, then it'll start deforming your face and you will look like that emoji. But no one will notice. Because while you're talking, your other friend with the Vision headset might be listening to you, or they might be listening to their iTunes. You'll never know. And one final small issue is that if you use the Vision headset, you may go blind. Like when I take it off, I feel like my eyes don't work normally for like probably 15 minutes. Like I feel like, I feel like I'm like a little bit cross-eyed and struggling to see stuff. Ah, uh, but don't worry about any of that. You know, my eyes go wonky sometimes and that's without spending $3,500. So what's the problem? The all new Apple Vision Pro issues. If you see the spinning beach ball of death, you're either having a stroke or you need to return the headset. The choice is yours. But think fast. Subscribe today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. And why not check out why I said no to the Apple Vision Pro by clicking the video in the corner. And subscribe for more fun tech videos. But until then, I'm gonna experience the real world. See, when I take off my Vision Pros, I see it in SD. And that's satisfactory definition. Let's go back to HD.